Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here. We have one gigantic chunk of steel. Will has one awesome design of a hog splitter. We're gonna combine these two. We're gonna make one terrifying tool slash weapon. We're making a hog splitter. Thank you for joining us. I'm gonna put this in the fire. That is seven and a half pounds of 4140. We did a math or two, figured out how much we needed. So this is gonna be very exciting. Thank you for joining us and I hope you enjoy. So right now I have this block of 4140 roughed out into a rough rectangle. The whole point of forging is to move and displace material. And so that's what we've got to do because you see this form here has this thinned out isolated section, this big blade. We need to rough it out and make a pre-form in this block of steel. And so next heat, we're going to isolate out about a third of the material under the power hammer. And that small isolated section is going to become the handle of the hog splitter. He's going to set that over here. I'm going to divide it in three. We're going to forge it down. We are making progress on this hog splitter right here. This thing just looks incredible. This is gonna be one mean tool. What we're gonna be working on next is this little area here. We're gonna clamp this in the vise. Then we're gonna take a fuller. We're gonna hammer in from here to make that transition how we want it. And then we're gonna thin down that blade some more. It's still almost a half inch thick and then start forging the bevels. Here we go. Holy moly, this thing is looking hog split delicious. We gotta put some holes in this before we go in for the heat treat. We have some 3 16 Looks like it. 3 16 inch bronze rod. We're gonna use this, we need to mark out the holes, but the thing is, is Will hasn't been party to any Blue Dykem songs and we need to use some Blue Dykem to lay out these holes. It's been a while since I've sung the Blue Dykem song, last sung it in the UK, and so it's time. We've got to start real low, real low with a little, little Blue Dykem. 
that's the Blue Daikum song. And uh, basically, you just sing the song while you're playing with the Blue Daikum, because it's just fan... Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, it's Red Daikum. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that no. is horrifying. Well, Red Dyke. I don't think it's got the same ring to it. Hickory for becoming our handle scales, a little sanding. So before we get this glued together, we need to finish the tops of the handle scale since we won't have access to that once it is glued onto the hog splitter. So I'm putting these two together right now and we'll get that rounded out. So it is time to get ourselves some epoxy flowing, and you know whenever you throw things up in the air, you're so much cooler, right? <laughs> Give it a squeeze. I'm going to start mixing it. We'll dollop it on. Now we're going to epoxy the steel. Is that what you call it when you get it on your hands? We're going to clamp it up. Okay. All right. There we go. Now we let it wet. Now we let it set. Now we let it wet. This was one awesome day of wow. forging, of making something cool. Just, that was a blast. It really was. Started off as seven and a half pounds of two and a half inch square, or round, round stock. Alec did an amazing job forging it down into the shape. And then I got a profile in and grind these stubby little bevels on there and threw these scales on it. So, came out pretty dang good. It was a absolute blast to test it out. So it was indeed. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always bringing you along. Make sure you hit subscribe if you're new to follow along with what we get up to here in the workshop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>